a wave of red and Nazi flags Saturday in the state capitol. I was really disturbed when I saw the images. Madison police say this neo-Nazi group marched the city, even through the University of Wisconsin-Madison's campus. I first heard about it when parents started reaching out to me concerned because their students on campus were calling them. The executive director of the Milwaukee Jewish Federation says the march is upsetting people across the state. So today was just a very public display, but it's happening significantly more. Over the past 10 years, the Anti-Defamation League says anti-Semitic incidents have been on the rise. Since the Hamas attack on Israel in October, those incidents have increased by 316 percent from the same time last year. It's a shock for anybody who's from here, but in a way, maybe we shouldn't be shocked. Professor Peter Staudenmeyer teaches history at Marquette University. I asked him about what appears to be a resurgence of hate. It doesn't mean it disappeared. It means we need to be able to recognize the new ways that it is going to show up in the 21st century. And I think that's what happened today. Our students on campus are getting these messages on social media all the time. Following the march, leaders across the state are speaking out. Governor Evers releasing this statement saying in part, quote, neo-Nazis, anti-Semitism and white supremacy have no home in Wisconsin. In Milwaukee, local groups like Forward Latino added, quote, today's rally of hate in Madison, Wisconsin, reminds us all that hate continues to exist even here in Wisconsin. Forward Latino condemns all forms of hate from anti-Semitism to Islamophobia. And we need to not wait until we see actual Nazis marching down the street to call it out. The Milwaukee Jewish Federation tells me there are resources available from the university to the state level. They also encourage everyone to report anti-Semitic acts. In studio, Kaylee Starrell, TMJ4 News.